Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is Zach Cox, and today what I got for you are some of the worst missions in the GTA series that were basically designed to make you throw your controller and break it. And these range from tailing missions, to timed missions, to missions where you have a certain amount of fuel before you run out and fail the mission. I personally think these missions might have been made by Rockstar's trolling department because they should be just taken out of the game and deleted and never looked at or never spoken about again. Nonetheless, if you guys do find the video enjoyable and worthy of a like, be sure to help out by clicking that thumbs up button. If we could go for 1,500 likes on this video, that would be amazingly awesome. But that said, let's go ahead and get started with my list of the worst missions in the GTA series. Kicking the list off with Demolition Man from GTA Vice City, we have the first time that Rockstar really dabbed into letting the player control miniature vehicles in their games. And this really isn't Rockstar's finest hour with these kind of missions. Hold that thought because I'll get to the rest of that in just a moment. Nonetheless, the idea for this mission was very solid and simple. Have a laugh as you take down a building with a stream of explosives using a flying toy. It seems like a fun mission, right? Unfortunately, it's not. And this is due to the mission's execution, which is just woefully lacking in the most basic sense of controls necessary to make it anything less than a chore. The controls for this RC helicopter are absolutely horrible, making it one that for many times I had to just turn the game off and put my controller to the side to save me from actually throwing this thing at the wall. And you guys ever wonder why us gamers take our anger out on controllers or just yell at the walls? Nonetheless, there's only about two positive things I can say about this horrible, horrible mission. The first one is, nowadays I can actually play through it and actually beat it, so that's pretty cool. A lot of missions that I thought were super hard when I was a kid and playing these games are actually not as hard nowadays as I'm a little older. I don't understand how that works. Also, really the best thing about this mission is that it's not required to complete the initial GTA Vice City storyline. It's only required to complete if you're going for 100% game completion, so that's a positive in my book. I wouldn't recommend you guys playing this mission very hard and don't play it if you want to save yourself a controller. Next up we have Did Somebody Say Yoga from GTA 5 and the first time I played this mission I knew that if I were to ever make a video of this nature this mission would make the list without a doubt and I understand the mission was included in the game for fun. It was supposed to be a simple fun mission but instead it's very long and very, very boring, and sometimes it can be very annoying because if you don't execute the controls just right, you actually have to restart, making this mission a whole lot longer than it actually needs to be. Now, don't get me wrong, the mission does have some funny dialogue and some pretty interesting cutscenes, but nonetheless, like I said before, the first time I ever played through this mission, I knew that it was just going to be one that players are not going to like. And it's ironic because it's a mission that was made with the intentions of it being a mission that was supposed to be fun and memorable for good reasons, not bad reasons. And can someone please explain to me how a mission about doing yoga is somehow harder than learning to pilot a submarine, stealing a cargo helicopter out of a military base, or sneaking out of a federal officer infested coroner's office with minimal equipment? Really, can someone please explain that to me? Moving on to GTA 3 and the mission Expresso to go, much like most of the missions on this list, the idea is very simple. Go from point A to point B, but instead, this one is just the opposite. Assigned to destroy nine different coffee stands across the three different islands in this game. In the process, you have a strict time limit, you're being shot at by rival gangs, and lastly, these locations don't spawn on the map until you get near them. So you don't know where you're going. You basically just have to drive around until you figure out where these different stands are because they'll pop up on the map. And to make matters worse, GTA 3 doesn't actually have an in-game map. So we can't pause the game and look on the pause menu of where to go. You literally have to know the routes, know how to get from one bridge to the other to complete this mission in the allotted time limit, which is very hard. And I still have trouble with this mission today, and I've been playing GTA 3 for over 14 years now. What sense does that make? 
The next mission we have is a tailing mission, so you know it's gonna suck right off the bat, and it's actually called Escuela of the Streets, and it's a mission given to us by Manny in GTA 4, and because of that, you also know it's gonna suck. All of Manny's missions are very annoying in my opinion, even though the guy is somehow addictingly cool. Anyways, this mission, like I said before, is a tailing mission, so it starts out with you and Manny tailing a drug dealer, following him to a warehouse, and a mission that should be two to three minutes at tops, is around five to ten because if you get too close to this dealer he'll be spooked and the mission's gonna end and you're gonna have to restart it and also when you actually follow this guy around he takes you around just different routes zigzagging bobbing and weaving throughout liberty city until he gets to the location where you have to go into a warehouse full of drug dealers and take out every single one of them making this mission overall just very annoying very time consuming and very unnecessary and lastly, you think Rockstar would learn their lesson with RC missions and the unanimously negative feedback they have received throughout the GTA series. And unfortunately, they didn't because in GTA San Andreas, we have a very interesting character by the name of Zero, who is also very annoying. And every single one of his missions suck and they're horrible, but they're required to complete the GTA San Andreas storyline. And one mission in particular is called Supply Lines, where we are given an RC airplane and we are assigned to fly around San Fierro destroying five different moving targets. And what makes this mission very, very hard is the absolutely horrible controls for this airplane. It's literally impossible to fly. It's different than flying a normal airplane, of course. And there's really no trick to controlling this thing because next thing you know, you're gonna bank just a little too hard and you're gonna turn around smacking straight into a building falling down to the ground. And what makes matters worse for this mission is that it's somewhat of a timed mission, but instead of having time, you have fuel. And if you run out, you're gonna land on the ground and the mission's gonna fail. And in my case, I had one vehicle left to destroy and I ran out of fuel as it was right in front of me. So Rockstar, if you guys are listening, please take into consideration to never incorporate RC missions into the GTA series again. Please and thanks, sincerely, the GTA community. Well guys, that about sums up my list of the worst missions in the GTA series. I can make a part two if you guys would like to see that. Be sure to let me know down below in the comment section alongside what you guys consider to be some of the worst missions in the GTA series. And if you did find the video enjoyable and worthy of a like, be sure to click that thumbs up button. If we could smash 15 100 likes on this video that would be completely amazing and i do want to thank you guys for the continued support but that said i believe that's just about it you guys all take it easy have a safe one my name is zach cox and i'll catch you guys in the next video